what is going on everybody so in one of my previous videos i show you guys that i had received a gaming pc and i did somewhat of a, a unboxing video just kind of showing what it looks like coming out the gate coming out the box uh show some of the features that it had uh on the outside and i took a look at some of the inside but i want to do a, a review on just how well it's been performing overall so here is the video here of me sort of taking a look at the computer out of the box and plugging it in and uh, just seeing the dimensions of it, seeing the materials made from, seeing the tempered glass and the nice smooth metal black finish, you know, of course the fancy, fancy pants, RBG lighting and all that. Um, I was I'm pretty impressed with it for the price that I paid I will say though that looking at what I received in the mail and just looking at the price point you couldn't have you could have gotten for that price you probably could have gotten a little better For what we have we could have paid maybe two or three hundred and that would have been good that would have made sense for the power level of this computer out the gate it, it was really nice you know nice little finish here got the tempered glass the black got the rgb remote they got the wireless adapter uh i mean it, i couldn't really complain that much for how much i paid for most gaming pcs that are reliable and dependable you're coming off at least i say at the bare minimum eight nine you know you got some guys that are able to build computers and they know where to get the right parts and things like that but it we're gonna take a look at the inside of it here you know i just didn't have that and i just needed my computer my previous one had just stopped working altogether so i needed something um and i couldn't go without anything here you can see me taking a look inside the computer seeing the rgb you see the atx mini uh, motherboard there got a little bit of rgb cable going along the bottom again the remote the power supply cord that's the front panel. It doesn't have any optic drive. Other than that, man, it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a purchase. I think it was more so super cheap materials and then throw some lights on her and you know overall it's a very clean build, a very nice tower, and there's plenty of room in there for you to be able to upgrade and change things later. But yeah. So right now, let's take a look at some of the the things that came with this PC. PC. So it comes equipped with the the i core, the core i5 uh, 2400 chip, which I believe that chip was released. I want to say back in 2012. I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure, but I want to say that was released in 2012. Uh, it also comes equipped with the GeForce uh, GTX 650, which I believe probably are close around the same year, if I'm not mistaken, for that GPU. Uh, looking up the price for both of these items, I know the iCore 2400 was maybe 50, maybe 50 bucks, 30, 40, 50, right around that range. The GeForce was the same, about 45 bucks. It comes equipped with the ATX mini uh, keyboard, keyboard, motherboard. This motherboard only has two of the DDR3 uh, RAM slots. Uh, even with that, it comes, it only comes with one stick, like one egg gigabyte stick or something like that. Um, this one is a LG, a LGA 1155 uh, motherboard. So I think it's able to fit like most of the 22 nanometer CPUs. 
this is the PVA or Astro power supply, 500 watts power supply, so not bad. Um, I want to say the power supply may have been 30, 40 bucks. The, oops, sorry about that. The motherboard, mm, I forgot how much the motherboard was. I want to say anywhere in that price range as well, about 30, 40, 50 maybe. This is the, uh, it came with a golden memory, eight gigabyte RAM stick. So this was the one eight gig RAM that it came with for the, out of the two slides. I think the ATX mini is able to go up to 32 gigs of RAM in total. So you just have to swap that out for two 16s. And that's mainly, you know, what it came equipped with. Of course it came with, uh, the RGB fans and everything like that but that those are the main components that it came equipped with all this if you were to purchase all of this and maybe buy yourself a 150 dollar or maybe 200 dollar tower you're coming off maybe two or three hundred bucks you know all together for this and me i paid 450 because i needed a pc and everywhere that i was looking Either they had only thing they had was twelve hundred dollar PCs or you know really hardcore gaming PCs that I just didn't have the money to afford at the moment. I just needed something that would work that I could run my OBS through that I can do what I'm doing now, record my videos, edit my videos, run my drawing and my my art software, uh, do some music editing stuff like that. It's just basic stuff that I needed. And I didn't necessarily need a monster computer to do. I game every here and there. Um, and it would be nice to be able to game and not deal with lag. So lag is a definite issue I deal with with using this particular cord. Uh, cord. This particular graphics card, this, uh, the GTX 650. Using that particular cord, card, uh, it, it's, it's dated. Um... I updated the driver to the game ready driver yesterday so it runs a bit smoother uh, I also been using shadow play which isn't so taxing on the CPU but when I run OBS it's not really my CPU that really gets taxed the most I think it's mainly my GPU uh, that GT GTX 650 is just it, it, it runs like minimum requirements you know what i mean especially with today's game they're getting more and more demanding more and more taxing so you need something that's a bit stronger this works but you can get something that works better and honestly there are some out there that works ton times better than this that don't cause that much more uh maybe about two to three times this amount and this amount isn't much 40 bucks so uh i would play hitman 2 uh it would play pretty clear for the most part but when i'm doing something pretty intense uh where button button response is pretty heavy uh, it gets it gets a little it gets a little laggy uh it could run 60 it could run 50 40 30 uh frames it's just sometimes it it depends uh it depends on how long I can honestly say it depends on how long my PC been running. If I've been running it for a while, if I just turned it on, it may run pretty smooth for a while. Um, but it runs probably the most stable at, I'll say between 50 and 60 frames per second. But it, it hasn't not lagged on many of my, my playing sessions at all. Um, playing NBA 2K19 because I'm too cheap to buy 20 and I just I just ain't buying it. Stupid. Um, uh, when I play that, that game is it's pretty taxing, you know. So far as everybody's moving, so much information it has to account for, uh, so many things happening in the background. So I needed something that's gonna be able to run that game a bit smoother. And the GTX 650, it can run pretty decently, but it's not something that I would lean on. Um, but yeah, other than that, great, 
great PC, great build, great spacing on the inside. Everything's laid out really simple, so it'd be easy to upgrade. Um, cosmetically, it looks nice. So when you do upgrade, you still got yourself a nice looking PC. So that's an upside to it. But yeah, that's it for this review. Um, overall, I'm pleased with it. It could be better, but I have a PC that works when I cut it on, that handles the, the, act, the task that I needed to handle. I just need to upgrade my GPU a little later on and my CPU as well uh, down the road. My CPU right now is okay, but I definitely want to upgrade a GPU pretty soon. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.